Here's a Panzer I that was given to the Civil War era uh, Spain. I guess it's the 1930s. See the front drive sprocket there. And um, see the Spanish flag. So two machine guns, one there and one there. There's an X on the hatch. It's that long crossbar. So that's a um, artistic rendition from a classic Osprey book. Here's a photograph of uh, Panzer Ones. The Panzer One was poorly suited to tank fighting due to its machine gun armament. Four tanks were up armed with a Breda 20mm cannon in an enlarged turret, as seen on the tank in the background here. So I presume that here is a 20mm Breda mounting on a Panzer I. The Panzer I off B in the foreground is a company command tank identified by the M painted on the diamond insignia on the whole front. So there's a, uh, a diamond right here with an M on it. So there's the command tank, Panzer I. Here's a Panzer I on the move. And um, there's a lot of hatches that are open. And there's a guy sitting on the turret right there. A rare glimpse of one of the four Panzer I Offs A up armed by the addition of a Breda M35 20mm cannon. Okay, 20mm cannon. It's pretty neat. And there's a the headlight. There's a driver. Uh, gon gondola. Driver gondola it has all these windows in it. <laughs> these were allotted on a scale of one per company to provide the units with some organic anti-tank capability in the event a T-26 was encountered. So, the Panzer I crews were worried that um, if they came across a T-26 in the Spanish Civil War, uh, they could uh, knock it out and kill it. And here is an example of a T-26 that uh, the Panzer crews would come across be in danger of uh, being destroyed by. The widespread use of capture tanks by the Nationalists led to efforts to clearly mark the T-26 with prominent insignia. This was usually a tricolor band of red, yellow, red <laughs> on the turret front and rear as seen on this Legion T-26 model 1937 tank in 1938. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll jump back to... Uh, uh, Panzer ones and here in my German section of my uh, tank encyclopedia is a um, a Panzer one that has a um, interleave road wheel system right here, just like a Panther, and a front real like gnarly and hulking front drive sprocket, rear idler. There's an escape hatch right here, that circle. And I'll read the citation here. VK 1801. Panzer 1A and A versed. Panzer 1D. Panzer 1F. 1940 rebuilt. Panzer Kampfwagen 1A. Outgrowth of VK 601. 20 tons. Two machine guns and turret. Heavy curved mantlet. Suspension as in VK-1601. Heavy visor on left. Okay, so uh, there's a real gnarly visor right here. It's real thick. And then the um, real thick mantlet plate right here for the uh, guns. Wide tracks, round escape hatch on both sides. So the escape hatch is on this side and the other side. And uh, got real thick tracks. Now apparently this is a very rare example. There's probably just one or two in the whole world. And probably in Russia I think. Well that has been a Panzer 1 production. I hope you enjoyed it.